Debbie Wasserman Schultz, who somehow, magically, still has a job, spoke to Greta Van Susteren on MSNBC last night. Let's pause to just laugh at that a little bit. Greta Van Susteren has a show on MSNBC. Because, you know, they're so, such a liberal network, they are. So liberal, so progressive. <laughs> what a joke. Uh, and Debbie Wasserman Schultz proved that she hasn't learned a goddamn thing since the election. During the election, WikiLeaks exposed committee emails showing staffers appearing to side with Secretary Clinton over Senator Bernie Sanders. That led to the chairwoman of the DNC stepping down. And with me is that former DNC chair, Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz, Democrat from Florida. And first, I'd like to get your reaction, Congresswoman, to Senator Bernie Sanders, what he said earlier today. So clearly, the Democratic Party needs a top-down overhaul, and that top-down overhaul means that instead of becoming dependent and being dependent on big money interest for campaign contributions, it has got to become a grassroots party. It has got to start speaking and acting and fighting for working people, for young people. Perez has got to capitalize that, and that's the kind of party I think has to, the Democrats have to create. Cashman, I'm sort of a little bit like what I heard four years ago when the Republicans were doing autopsy after they lost the election in um, 2012. Um, but is Senator Bernie Sanders right? Um, does it have to start at the top and come down? And if so, how do you do that? You know, respectfully to Senator Sanders, um, we are already a grassroots party. I mean, if we were not, we would not have been able to help bring down the absolutely abhorrent health care repeal bill that uh, that would have knocked 24 million people over 10 years off of their health care, that would have increased costs astronomically for people who were between 50 and 64 years old, increased prescription drug prices. So he's wrong. And so, no. Um, I, it's actually more like semantics. We all agree that we should be and we are a grassroots party that focuses on making sure that we can help people reach the middle class. I think, though, the Republican Party, there are a lot of Republicans who voted for Donald Trump would say, you know, so the populist movement would say they're the grassroots, they're the Tea Party. I mean, I mean, everyone's sort of, you know, everyone's sort of trying to hijack that term. Um, actually, if you look at the, 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 the facts, Hillary Clinton won the popular vote. The majority of voters that went to the polls to choose their choice for president chose Hillary Clinton and our agenda. This is fine. No, this is fine. We're good. No, we don't. Pfft, Democrats. Do the Democrats need to reform? Do the Democrats need to fix stuff? Do the Democrats need to, you know, maybe look in the mirror because you somehow lost the electoral college to a reality star, orange faced buffoon with a meerkat on his head who said, I grab women by the pussy. Quote, I don't even wait. No, this is fine. I mean, you know, most, most people who voted, voted for Hillary Clinton. Okay, so how about you change nothing, and then in the next election, run a candidate, and how about you win the popular vote again, but lose the Electoral College? How about that? Will you do well when that happens? No, you won't have the power, right? See, that, uh, you know, hey, we won the popular vote thing, that's not enough to actually get you in the White House, because you have to win in specific states. And what happened is... You lost the white working class in the Rust Belt. Do you want to acknowledge that and maybe course correct? No, she doesn't. She's clear. It's just fine. No, she won the popular vote. I wouldn't even worry about the thing because we won the popular vote. By the way, also, furthermore, uh, the Democrats didn't only lose the presidency. They lost the Senate. They lost the House. They lost the majority of state legislatures. They lost most uh, governorships. So they got wiped out at every level of government. Every level of government. And that's her response. Her response, I just, well, Hillary won the popular vote. I don't <laughs> so Everything's good. It's great. I don't even know why you're asking me any questions like this. <laughs> it's nice in your circle, isn't it, Debbie? Because you keep taking that sweet, sweet corporate cash, and you and your buddies are living high on the hog, and you think, I don't even understand what the problem is. I mean, it must be that everybody's racist and sexist. That's what it's got to be. It is just an uptick in racism and sexism, and that's why Trump won, and that's why the Republicans won, and uh, we don't have to fix anything. So Bernie made it clear there. He said, well, th this here's what the Democrats need to do. Stop taking big money donations. Stop taking corporate donations. And become a party of the grassroots. And what was her response? We're already a party of the grassroots. Debbie, if you were, you wouldn't have lost the presidency 
the Senate, the House, the state legislatures, and the governorships, you would have won. You're not, you're not a part of the grassroots. I mean, I wish, if you listen to Bernie Sanders, you would be, but you're not. And then, here's probably the most important point. Her evidence for why she thinks the Democrats are already a party of the grassroots is, well, what do you mean? We defeated the Obamacare replacement bill. So, that, there it is. That proves we're a party of the grassroots. We defeated Trumpcare. No, but see, Debbie, that's the point. It's not enough to say, I'm anti-Trump. I'm anti-Trump, and that's the end of the conversation, so therefore we are the grassroots, and you will all bow down and vote for me. Vote for us. No, people want to know not just what you're against. They want to know what you're for, Debbie. And you will not come out and say, hey, I'm for a single-payer health care system. I'm for Medicare for all. You know? Hey, let me give you... Uh, I'm for free college. I agree with Bernie Sanders. I think we should have free college, and I think we should make a deal to eliminate the student loan debt, which is holding back the younger generation. That's what, Hey, I think we should end the seven different wars that we're involved in right now. Hey, I think we should make the minimum wage a living wage and tie it to inflation, and understand that 50% of the country makes $30,000 a year or less, and we should fight back against that and maybe embrace unionization. Um... Debbie Washman Schultz is one of the primary recipients of money from the predatory payday uh, loan industry. We're the party of the grassroots. I don't know what you mean. We're a party of the grassroots. And that's why when I take money from the predatory payday loan industry with gigantic uh, interest rates that try to fuck over, uh, you know, people who don't make that much money, um, I tell them as I take the money and, and vote against their, these poor people's interests that I'm on your side still. So that's enough, right? Is that enough to, I'm part, I'm grassroots? Is that grassroots? Uh, so sick, man. They, she hasn't learned anything. They, have, they haven't learned anything. They, <laughs> we're already a party of the grassroots, and I can prove we're grassroots because we defeated Trump care. That's not, that's so easy, Debbie. And by the way, you didn't defeat Trump care. The fact that there were, it, it, there was infighting within the Republican Party, and you had the establishment Republicans versus the so-called Freedom Caucus, which is the Tea Partiers. They had a disagreement. The Tea Partiers said, we still think it's too liberal. So they fought, and it was defeated. In fact, Trump was on Twitter earlier today sniping at the Freedom Caucus, and the Freedom Caucus was sniping back. It's infighting within the Republican Party that led to that bill being defeated. But then she comes out like, oh, we defeated the bill. No, you didn't, and even if you did... That's not enough to garner people. Oh, thank you for not fucking, you know, um, taking a bazooka to the face of the healthcare system and the health insurance system in the U.S. See, that's the thing. She's for Debbie Wasserman Schultz and all the corporate Democrats. This is such a key sign of a, of a corporate Democrat is when all they want to do is defend Obamacare. Obamacare, no, Obamacare is great, and let's just defend Obamacare, and let's just defend it, and that's it. And even though there's still 28 million people who are uninsured, and even though premiums are still rising, albeit at a slower rate than beforehand, and even though we still have, you know, thousands of people die every year because they don't have access to basic health care, let's just defend Obamacare. Just defend it because big, bad Republicans are bad, and uh, Obamacare, let's defend it, defend it, defend it. Because, remember, Obamacare is originally a right-wing proposal. It was, it's very similar to what Richard Nixon proposed. It's very similar uh, to what Bob Dole proposed. It's very similar to what Mitt Romney implemented in Massachusetts. The Heritage Foundation wrote uh, policy papers about it, where they said this is our response to what the Democrats are pushing for, which is supposed to be single payer, and at the very least a public option. So now you have people like Debbie Wasserman Schultz, who openly and repeatedly state, this is as far as I go. As far as I go, or where the 1990s Republicans were. So you're like an old school moderate Republican, and then at the same time you're going to claim, we're already grassroots. No, you're not. You're like a 1990s Republican. That is not grassroots. That is a party of the corporations. That's a party of the establishment, the elite class, just not as crazy as the far right today. You don't get fucking points for that, and that's not enough to garner, you know, the progressive base and millennials and independents going out in droves to vote for you. Because you gotta give them something to vote for. 
And this is what Bernie Sanders is offering you. For fuck's sake, man, she goes on in that clip, you didn't see it here, but she goes on in that clip to talk about, you know, Hillary, she's asked, will Hillary run again? Like, that's the last thing I think Hillary's thinking about right now, but I think she'll use her tremendous popularity to try to fight back against this terrible agenda the Republicans are pushing. She thinks like Hillary Clinton, so popular, so popular. Debbie, the new round of polls just came out. She's at a 35% approval rating. That's literally the same as Donald Trump. 35% approval rating. What's uh, Bernie Sanders at? 61%. Literally the most popular politician in America right now. And he's giving them the roadmap to victory, and they refuse to take it. Hey, stop taking corporate money, stop taking PAC money, stop taking billionaire money, represent the constituents, be an actual grassroots party, and fight for the things that the polls show the American people want. Medicare for all, raise the minimum wage, uh, free college, end the wars, new New Deal. Still can't- Hey, here's the path to victory. No! This is fine, we're already fine, I don't know why fuck fine, we're fine, Bernie! And how are you still- I mean, she's still- She's still in Congress. She's like, you want to talk about a career that should have just ended in total disgrace. You should have resigned and went in a cave and thought about your life decisions because it was proven that you were tipping the scales against Bernie in what was supposed to, when you're supposed to be the DNC and okay, I'm hands off here. You pretended, oh, yeah, we're not doing anything. We're not taking sides in this race. You tipped the scales against Bernie as you lied to the public about it. Gave us the shitty candidate, propped up the shitty candidate who lost to Trump, so in a way you own Trump, and now you have the nerve to go out there and lecture us about the best anti-Trump strategies. I'm telling you, man, that sh she should not have any position of power. Um, it's a disgrace that she does. And my advice to Debbie Wasserman Schultz is go away because as long as you're still associated with the Democratic Party and people, when they think of the Democratic Party, they think of you, that means endless losses moving forward. So you're the old guard, we're the new guard, step aside, we're done with the corporate Democrats, it's time for the justice Democrats to take over and fight for the people. Take no corporate money, no PAC money and fight for the people and the things they actually want, what the progressive base actually wants. And that's not just, hey, we defeated Trump Care, a bill that would have made it so 52 million people don't have insurance, got $880 billion from uh, Medicaid, and cut taxes for the rich $600 billion worth, took the uninsurance rate from 10% to 19%. It's not enough to say, hey, we defeated the most monstrous thing anybody's ever seen. Aren't we so populist and grassroots? No, that's not enough. Populist and grassroots is no corporate money, no PAC money, and oh yeah, Medicare for all time. Let's fight and let's get it done.